Hey guys, I'm really excited to show you today's Lavelli Life recipe using the Eclipse meat grinder. We haven't done much using this machine yet, but we're keen to show you a little bit more over the next coming weeks. Today I'm going to make some burger patties using some fresh chuck steak that we've bought at the butcher this morning. I'm going to use half to make some burgers for today and I'm going to save half to put in the freezer for later. The Eclipse meat grinder is a really good one to have in your kitchen. It's designed for home use and it makes grinding your own meat really accessible. It comes with all the attachments you might need for making your own mince at home. You can even make sausages with it. So let's get started on our burger patties. So today I'm going to start with two kilos of chuck steak and I'm going to remove most of the extra fat that I can see on here. I do want to keep some of the fat because that's where the flavor is and it helps with binding it all together. I'm now going to cut them into four or five centimeter cubes so they fit through the hole on the filling plate nicely. This amount of meat is going to make between 10 and 12 really good sized patties so you have enough to freeze and save for later depending on how many mouths you have to feed. We're now ready to start mincing our meat. So fit your machine with the eight mil cutting plate and you can start loading your meat up onto the filling plate. It's really important that when you're using the machine, you do it safely. So a couple of tips, tie your hair up, make sure all of the equipment is really clean. You can't clean these parts in the dishwasher because they are made of aluminium. So make sure that when you're cleaning them, you do it by hand with hot water and detergent. Have a bowl ready to catch your mince as it comes out and always keep the machine off until you're ready to start mincing, keeping the cords out of the way as well in case you've got little people around. Now we can switch the machine on to the first power setting and using the tamp tool, you can start feeding the meat into the chute. You'll see the mince coming through the other end and because we've trimmed most of the fat, you shouldn't have any problems with flow. But if you find that the fat is getting stuck in the machine, turn the machine off Take the plate off and give it a quick wipe out. So the mince is all done now. You can see the fat dispersed really well throughout the meat. We can now start adding our flavorings and forming our burger patties. For our seasoning today, we're going to add one finely diced onion and four cloves of crushed garlic. To that, I'll add one tablespoon of tomato paste and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm going to add about one and a half teaspoons of salt. The great thing about this is that you get to control how much salt goes in, so it's really up to you. Then we'll go in with half a teaspoon of oregano and a good amount of black pepper. Give it a really good mix through with your hands and then you can start forming your patties. Use your hands to roll the meat into bowls and then flatten them out to make your patties. Because we're not using any bulking ingredients like breadcrumbs, these will shrink a little bit. So keep that in mind and make them a little bigger. Lay them on a tray separated by some baking paper. These are good to cook now, or you might want to put them in the fridge to firm up a bit. If you want to keep some for later, they will keep in the fridge nicely for three to four days or in the freezer for up to three months. If you're vac sealing your meat, they'll last even longer. When you're ready to make your burgers, heat a pan over high heat and cook them for three to four minutes each side or until they're done to your liking. Now it's over to you to create your perfect homemade burger. So there you have it, homemade burgers made by you using the Eclipse meat grinder and some awesome fresh meat. Like I said before, watch this space over the next coming weeks for some more videos showcasing the Eclipse meat grinder. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a like or a comment in the section below. We'll see you again next time.